Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. to catch this plane in a few minutes but Anthony you know with your man Eddie and Barry Hearn and tell them to check their email I got something special for you and by the way all the money's in the bag so I expect you'll be a man of your word okay I'll take 50 million up front if that's the case Wilder's team bring me 50 million up front and we'll take the fight I'll see you soon then Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? Well, Anthony Joshua, he asked for the 50 million and he got it. Now Anthony Joshua is creating new demands, which will obviously suppress negotiations and possibly push the fight back even further. Now obviously after Anthony Joshua got what he wanted, which was the 50 million, Deontay Wilder, once he heard that now Anthony is asking for the fight to be hosted in the UK, of course, Deontay Wilder, he went in on Anthony Joshua, obviously suggesting that Anthony Joshua, he just doesn't want the fight. Now, and I reported a couple weeks ago that Anthony Joshua, he basically said the fight is going to happen. It's 95% done. I'm really, really interested. You can't talk about finances anymore because I'm aware there is financial gain in this fight. So let's put that aside and look at the devil in the detail. You can't just offer me a buyout clause. I'm not here to sell my belts. Let you take control of the event. That's not what I'm about. So this is what Anthony Joshua said a couple weeks ago. I find it really interesting when he says, you can't just offer me some money because I'm not here to sell my belts. When he says that, that doesn't make any sense because it was Anthony Joshua that came up with the price. It was Anthony Joshua that came up with the $50 million demand. It wasn't Deontay Wilder that came up with that demand. Okay? Now, more recently, Anthony Joshua, he's been talking real big. He said that he's going to fuck up uh, Deontay Wilder. I'm paraphrasing, but this is pretty much what he said. Matter of fact, let me quote exactly what he said. Anthony said, I ain't got nothing to lose and I'm going to rain down hell on him. And then he said, I'm going to fuck him up real bad. He said, you seen that I could go on the inside and the outside. And then he started to share his game plan when it comes to possibly beating uh, Deontay Wilder. He said he's going to be extremely aggressive. He said he's just going to keep throwing punches, keep throwing punches, throw as many combinations as he can. Now, I want to go back to what Anthony Joshua said at the beginning of that piece. He said... I have nothing to lose. So what does that really mean? Does that mean that now Anthony Joshua feels that this would be a situation where he's selling his belts and now it's worth selling the belts because he's getting the $50 million that he requested? I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me for the heavyweight champion in his prime for him to say, I have nothing to lose. You have everything to lose. You have all of the belts to lose. You have your undefeated record to lose. I mean, everything you stand to lose in this fight. Same thing for Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder has everything to lose. So when Joshua says that, you have to think he's referring to the $50 million that he's going to be guaranteed if he loses to Deontay Wilder. Now, something else I wanted to touch on, Anthony Joshua, he also said he's going to be very aggressive. He's going to throw as many punches as as he can in the ring with Deontay Wilder. Now that can work for you or it can work against you. I see two things happening in this fight when it comes to Anthony Joshua. Two styles of fighting from Anthony Joshua. Either he's gonna go in there a little timid and reluctant respecting 
Deontay Wilder too much and, and kind of fighting timid like he did in the Joseph Parker fight. Or he's going to do exactly what he's telling us he's going to do, which is go balls to the wall and just be as aggressive as possible. But of course, the more aggressive you are, the more chances you give Deontay Wilder to land some of his bombs. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. You know, I truly believe that even though Anthony Joshua, he tried to pull an audible and and basically he pulled a U-turn and said, now I want the fight to be held in the UK. Even though he said this, I think Deontay Wilder and Team Wilder, they're going to surprise Joshua once again and they're going to say, you know what, we'll go ahead and fight you in the UK. We'll fight you in your backyard. Because when... Anthony asked for the 50 million. I don't believe Anthony thought that he was going to get $50 million, but he got it. So now he wants to fight in the UK. Now, I did read a report that Anthony was even willing to take less money to host, to have the fight hosted in the UK. We'll see what happens. But um, I don't think um, this is going to stop the fight from happening. Um, Deontay Wilder, he wants this fight so bad. I don't think he'll have a problem fighting in the UK. Let's see what happens from this point on. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.